Hey, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. So I have a bit of a problem here uh, because what happened is that I lost my database and so I had to recover it. But uh, the recovered version of my database does not is, is a bit old, so it doesn't have this particular database for our project. So which means I have to migrate. Uh, luckily for us, we have migration files. This is the beauty of migration files, actually. So we can just simply migrate uh, back into our database, which is not a problem. The only issue is uh, we have so many migration files and um, we have to migrate per uh, plugin here, right? So th it's not a problem. I can go plugin by plugin and write folder by folder and migrate those. But I think we can write a script to do this at one time instead of um, doing it one by one. When, when you're doing it the first time, you can just use migrate or, or something like that. That way we save time, right? So right now I can't actually log in because if I do try to log in, uh, I'm going to get errors and stuff. Oh, look at that. I actually managed to log in. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay, so there are some, I think some older tables are there except the newer ones. So like the pages one does not exist. So I think I created this. Uh, I, I backed this up before I created the pages one. But instead of me going one by one and trying to to migrate file by file um, or plugin by plugin, let's write a script to do this for us uh, instantly. So we'll need to run our migration tool. So I have opened the project folder here in the command line. Okay. So what I want to be able to do is just type PHP migrate. No, I actually have to write thunder there because that's the file we're running. And then say migrate. And here I want to just be able to write something like or oh, like this. But if I tried this, I'm sure it's going to say no files found in that location. No files found in specif specified folder. Okay, so that folder does not exist actually. So let's fix that. So what I'll do is in my project here, we have to go back to our core stuff here. So what I re really want is the thunder.php part here. So let's go down here and see what we have. Now, also, if you are running, um, let me see here. If we go to the, um, wait, something I'm looking for here that I can't seem to find. Okay, the migration model. Let me see here for a second what I wanted to do. Table created successfully, error. Okay, I think everything here seems to be about right. Um, I don't know what I'm looking for, but it just slipped my mind for a second there. Okay, so we go back to our thunder.php. So I want to look for the migrate function here. Let's see. And there it is because this is the one we want to deal with here. So migrate, and then we leave a space. So this action is going to just be equal to migrate. But even if it's roll back or refresh, it should actually work the same way. Okay. So let's see the refresh here. What does the refresh do? Okay, so refresh just runs the roll back and then runs the migrate function. Okay, so that's cool, which means we just need to edit what's in here to get what we want. So let's observe this for a second. What we really want is instead of using one folder here, so this is the thunder.php file in case you're wondering here in the thunder folder in the app folder there. So we have this one folder here that runs and then there is a loop of files. If there's a single file here, we run this code but if there are multiple files, we run this. So keep in mind that we want to grab multiple folders and inside those folders, there could be multiple files, migration files. So we need to take that into account. Now we can just leverage 
the um, the code that's already here this area here says no migration files were find, found in that location right this is the error that we got here but it's insufficient we need to know which folder which location this is so let's just do this and then put a folder over there like so i think that would be much better so let me try this out just to see if it would tell me what folder it is so here no migration found in that location and then it shows me the folder it was looking in so plugins all migration that's great okay so we've improved that already now what i want is by the time i get to this part this should be inside a loop so let's do this first so what i'm going to do is uh, let's uh, create a variable called folders just to hold all folders so we're going to assume every time we run through the loop we'll either have one item in this in this folders thing which is the current folder that was given or if we load more folders then we have we're going to have uh, more so i want to use the globe function here that we already used to grab files here this is the globe function right there now the thing is uh, i wanted to grab just the folders and there's, there's um, a flag we can use to do that so folders is equal to an empty folder right but then we ask our question is folder name if folder that single folder that we are grabbing if it's equal to the text or like this then in this case we have to load all the folders instead okay so here what i'll do is i'll put die so that we don't actually run anything down here and then i just want it to show me what's inside folders like so so right now we know folders is empty so we're going to see emptiness here but if there are all folders here uh, then we use the globe function so i'm going to say folders is equal to globe like that okay and then we put a pattern in here now we want to know where to look for these guys and usually this is the plugins folder right it's like that but then we have to put this asterisk there to say to match any folder name like so and then we put a comma and put a flag over here now i don't remember the flag itself i haven't used this in a while so bear with me for a second here meanwhile i'm gonna say folders and then put one item inside folders so if the folder is not or like this then we just add it to this uh, array that way even when we loop even if when we have one folder uh, specified we're going to still use the loop but then we we'll just have one folder in there so this is how we specify one folder so i'm just going to grab up to here so i'll put that in there like so so folders is a go to then we put plugins slash that folder name now the reason i didn't put migrations here is because uh when we grab these folders from here they won't have the slash migrations at the end so instead of me putting more if statements to check if the migrations thing exists i'll just make sure that all the folders before they get here do not have this migrations part that way i can add it from here like so so here we'll just say folder is equal to folder plus migration like that so the loop will start from here so here we will loop that's not how you spell loop okay so let me look for that flag uh that i'm supposed to use so what i'll do is let me just search and say php globe um folders only something like that yep I think people have been searching for that but the best way to do things is oh there it is right there is to just go on php.net the result for php.net and or stack overflow but this is the one i was looking for so great i'll grab that there and put a comma and paste it so it's globe only dir so it's i don't know why i forget when you don't use things for a while you forget so at this point we should have proper folders from here so let's test this 
So I'm going to just run the previous uh, command and there we go. So we have all these folders coming up with a globe function. Now imagine if I, instead of O, I put something like basic oath, then I just get one folder. So it's working as it is supposed to. All right, so since we have uh, a bunch of folders here, let's add the loop here. So I'm gonna say for each, like so, folders, as we just need one folder at a time, so folder here. Now we need to know where this loop will end, so it's okay to have this um, no migrations files found. Uh, this actually ends the thing. Okay, so here we need to make a bit of a change. So let me do this. Because if there are no migration files found in this folder, normally we exit this uh, message thing will exit. So let's put false there so that we don't exit. Instead, we use the continue keyword there. So what continue does is that it just goes back to the top of the loop. So it just continues the loop instead of exiting the script. Okay, so I want all of this inside. So let me put that selector there and then this one here. So wherever this ends, that's where our um, loop should end, which is right there. So duplicate that and then let me move everything over up to here and then tab inside and remove this part here. Okay, so now we are inside here. So folder and then we check if this is an actual directory and then if it isn't, we loop, we continue the loop. Otherwise, if it's valid, we go down here. So I'm going to remove that. Okay, okay. Now, since there's already stuff, there's some, some um, let me check here. I'm sure there is some, um, oh, seems my MySQL installation still has problems. So I may have to delete it and start again. Okay, so there's stuff here, which is good. Some things are here, but some, some tables are missing. And let's see, slider images. Oh, so we have content. Okay, I may need to overwrite this. So what I'll do is, let me just do a rollback instead of just adding to this. So I'm going to scroll down here and let's do the same thing. But instead of just saying migrate, let's do rollback. No, not rollback actually. Rollback deletes everything. Uh, let's do, yeah, maybe let's do rollback actually. So I'll say rollback and say, oh, next time we'll try refresh. You can try refresh, but I just want to see if it deletes all of them. So this should uh, delete all the tables if it works. Okay, so it seems it has actually worked. Let me click here, I shouldn't see any tables and that's actually true, no tables here, which is awesome. So we can do all that in one go. So now instead of rollback, let's do migrate. So we'll go and say migrate, oh, press enter, and there we go. I think I should make it uh, in the next installment, I'm going to try and figure out how to put different colors in these messages. So it's easier to see what's what. Okay, so if I now refresh there everything is good even our pages uh, thingy is there which is very nice so let's try and log out and log in again oh i knew it i missed something okay there we go pretty good if i click on profile oh we don't actually have a profile yet, so cool, cool. Uh, 
home page there we go okay good at least we don't have any problems so far our database is working so now we can continue with our main plugin